Yeah, I think what we're seeing is this huge cultural shift in Silicon Valley about work and about organizing. Um, you know, there was this sort of very kind of individual, uh, like marketplace sort of sense toward labor here for a long time. People were kind of out for themselves. I think the big watershed here is that people are collectively bargaining in Silicon Valley. Um, and there, you may not be doing so under the kind of the traditional way we think of collective bargaining, but they're coming up with new ways, and I think those new ways will kind of morph into uh, something like old ways. I mean, we're seeing not labor unions, but like something toward that. I think that's what's important. They, they didn't get their kind of initial, all of their initial demands met by Google, but from what I can tell talking to the, to the organizers of these, this walkout, you know, they're committed, they're going to keep pushing, and I think it's going to be a big, you know, lead to a big change in, in how tech companies operate. Walter, how dangerous is this for big tech? I mean, there's been this myth of meritocracy in Silicon Valley for a long time, kind of go out there, if you're good, you'll make all the money, uh, you'll get all the benefits, but life is tough out there because the, for, for a lot of people because the cost of living is really, really high. Um, is there a risk that if Google and others don't respond to these issues in the right way, they could uh, help to birth a new kind of labor movement that's a thorn in their sides going forward? I think there's a risk that's even broader and larger than that. Uh, Jared Lanier has an interview with Nick Thompson in Wired Magazine uh, this week, which gets to it, which is there was an idealism about why a lot of these workers went to places like Google and other social networks. Google very famously in its IPO and its original manifesto said don't be evil. That was put there by people who wanted to make sure it stayed in the DNA, but it's been subsumed and pushed down in later company statements. So I think what you're seeing is whether it's Twitter, Facebook, and Google, they are just doing things that are destructive to our social discourse, allow bullying or allow false uh, things to go online. It's not something that can be government regulated, but people at these companies went there for idealistic reasons, and some of them have to be waking up every morning and saying, am I still doing a good thing? Indeed. Walter, Farhad, thank you.